Okay, welcome back to part two. In the last part, we got up to just creating our simple farm, which looks like this. Select your browse button, um, you can select which file you want to upload, um, and you click upload. And it'll go to a file called upload.php, but we're going to do that in this part. So in your upload.php file, um, if we just create our um, PHP tags okay and first of all we're going to set a few properties for the file so if we create a variable called name and this is going to be dollar underscore files and we'll need two boxes just like that in the first one in the first box it's going to be um, what you called your your file input type which I named it as my file you put here whatever you named it and simply enough name goes in there so if we copy this down a few times because we're going to need one other one for type um, size uh, um, temporary file and any errors which we're not going to use errors but just put it there anyway just in case um, people may want to use them but that they're basically the five main ones you need so in the second one we name name to type and the same here type and um, this one is going to be um, size and in here it's size and temp and this bit's really important now in this bit you need to put tmp underscore name um, and this one's going to be the error and basically yeah just error okay so now we set properties for the file we're going to need to actually create um, an if statement to um, you don't actually need this if statement what you can basically do is just type move uploaded underscore file which is basically a PHP um, code and you simply just put in your parameters here uh, what you want which um, the upload file goes in there um, but basically we're going to create a if statement because we're going to use um, file size restriction so basically if the size of the file is going to be more than one meg which is um, I think is one million bytes which is one and six zeros you have to put in bytes it won't recognize anything other than bytes um, so if the file size is bigger than one megabyte a million bytes uh, we're going to um, hmm, we're going to just put in here and um, die so we're going to kill the scripts don't make it want anything else because you don't want the file to be uploaded if you just give out an echo message yeah echo if you don't know what echo is it's um, basically you're just telling the user something um, don't put an echo message because the file will still upload because it's still running the script die means as soon as it gets to that part of the script it will kill the script it won't do anything else so the file size is too big right so now we've got that oops go down so else so if the file size is smaller than one meg it won't kill the script it won't send it won't tell them um, that it's too big so that die that die part will be irrelevant so else we're going to move uploaded file and we're going to get the temporary name and um, in here we're going to put um, where 
you want the uploaded file to go. So in our case, we created a file called uploaded, um, and we're just going to concatenate the name onto that because when you upload a file, you, um, it changes the name for temporary reasons, but then doesn't change the name back unless you tell it to. So we're going to say. Uh, concatenate onto the end of the uploaded file to rename the file to the original file that the user has uploaded if you know what I mean so um, yeah that's um, your upload script we just need to um, do something there because it says there's an error um, Uh, we need a comma after that. No, we don't. So we don't need a comma after that. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't know what was up with it then. Um, so if we um, just, uh, you can see here that nothing is in the uploaded um, folder down here. If there's something in it, you'll get a little plus icon next to it uh, but it's not so um, there's nothing there so what we're going to do now is just test the file um, so if I try and upload something here to computer if I try and upload this upload we get no errors we get a blank page if I have a look in this upload before if I just refresh that I get a little icon and that for file has been moved to there if I delete that out and um, after this part I'm going to show you how to uh, do the upload complete page which is very very simple and maybe a few other points so um, yeah see you in round uh, part is it three part three